Yo, what the hell's up? Welcome back to Reviews with Jake, where I just got done watching Outside the Wire on Netflix. Outside the Wire is a new action film on Netflix about a detached drone pilot who gets a lesson in humanity from Anthony Mackie's character, who happens to be a robot. Not exactly the Falcon and the Winter Soldier film that I was looking for, but Nice try, Netflix. I'll be honest, this movie wasn't leaping off the page at me, but I'm halfway through January, I haven't reviewed anything yet, so I don't know, something's gotta give. Which is a little disappointing considering I'm anticipating this awesome, epic run in cinema in 2021, but it just hasn't happened yet. I mean, I guess I should probably give a little bit more time. I mean, it's not like the floodgates just open at midnight on New Year's. I was also kind of expecting a horror movie because every year it seems like the first movie I watch is always a horror movie. A really, really bad horror movie. But. Not 2021. This year we start things off with an action movie, with quite possibly the most generic ass action movie title you'd ever heard. Outside the Wire. As far as pros go, I honestly only have one. That was Anthony Mackie. He was solid here. I mean, I wouldn't say he had a necessarily strong performance. He didn't pull any muscles. It's all within his wheelhouse, but he's a very charismatic actor. What he brings to the table, it's hard to not dig. His delivery, the personality he breathes into his characters, the cockiness, the snarkiness, the ball busting, he's always good for it. When he is not on screen, the quality of this film drops below satisfactory and it is concerning. So. Good on him for carrying the team. All list of pros you will find about this movie, I guarantee will start with his name, but unfortunately, my list happens to start and end with his name. I mean, it's the only redeeming quality that it has. So as you'd expect, I have some cons. Most of them are centered around the fact that this is indeed the generic ass action movie that I feared it would be after I saw the title. Outside the Wire. The writing in this film was cheesy as hell. The dialogue just reeked of desperation to be cool. It tries so hard to have this buddy cop dynamic between Anthony Mackie's character and Harp, our drone pilot, but I just wasn't buying it. Every time that Mackie referred to the dude as rookie, I had to check my phone to make sure it was still 2021. I'll admit that the plot seemed promising. I mean, the setup had me intrigued, but it lost it so quickly because all of the characters in this film were unlikable, unredeemable, and had no emotional pull. Sorry, but the little photograph that Harp carries around of his girlfriend that he talks about here and there is not enough emotional pull to make me pull for the guy. I mean, he's just not a likable character. I just could not latch on to him. It also made some very weird visual style graphic decisions that had me scratch in my head, especially during the exposition dumps. They would incorporate like a little triple box panel look like a comic book, sprinkle in a little bit of old historical footage, then maybe throw in some graphic animations that they just threw together in After Effects. I mean, it just kind of seemed all over the place. It was not uniform. The action was also way too overproduced. You know, the usual suspects, jittery cameras, shaky cinematography, with a lot of rapid edits just to try and liven it up a little bit, but you never knew what the hell was going on. It was constantly breaking the 180 degree rule, which if you're unfamiliar with the term, it is a filmmaking rule that refers to the angles and perspectives that you you capture and compose your shots of your talent to make sure that their eye lines are all looking in the natural direction so that your audience knows what the hell is going on and where everything is going on in the sequence. Generally speaking, I personally do not think the rule needs to be followed in every single edit. I personally believe that the audience can usually navigate their way through a sequence even if eye lines shift a little bit. This film played jump rope with the rule and most of the time it was fine, it was whatever, I can get over it, but during the shootouts it was tough to follow. Just a ton of really quick close-up shots a lot of really quick mid shots of someone sitting in the middle of the frame firing at the camera cut back and forth on top of each other not enough wide shots to give us perspective to know where everyone is situated at i had no idea who was shooting at who who was located on this side versus this side who was winning the firefight nothing which i guess isn't uncommon i mean i guess a lot of action movies use this tactic this rapid edit to liven things up when they don't have the horses to pull it any other way but while this sin is not exclusively committed by this film i still consider it a con because like i've said in previous reviews i'm just kind of over this type of action the bar has been set so high by films like John Wick, Extraction, Atomic Blonde, these movies that have this awesome choreography, I just can't unsee that. The bar is too high. Maybe you're still okay with this type of action? That's your prerogative. That's fine. Then this won't bother you as much. But for me, I was watching a generic ass, uninteresting plot in an action movie that had what I would call outdated action. I mean, there was nothing for me to hang my hat on. Like if we look at Extraction, that's a generic ass action movie, but the action is top shelf. Meanwhile, Old Guard, the action, not top shelf, but at least the premise was something cool. This movie 
had neither to really latch on to. All in all, if you're an action aficionado, maybe there's something to watch here, maybe. But if you're like me, kind of over movies like this, then well, 2021 isn't off to the fast start we were hoping for. I'm going to give Outside the Wire on Netflix a D plus. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with new reviews coming real soon. Stay safe, thanks for checking in.